In this video, we're going to be looking at direct proportion. I've split direct proportion up into two parts. This part will involve wordy problems, which are often a little bit easier to understand. And part two is going to contain more equation based answers. So question one, in a recipe to make 20 biscuits, you will need 50 grams of flour, two eggs and 40 grams of sugar. So I'm going to first of all just make a note of this. So 20 biscuits, we need 50 grams of flour, two eggs and 40 grams of the butter. We need to work out how many ingredients we need for 30 biscuits. So we're going to have to divide by something and then times by something to get up there because 20 to get to 30 is an awkward multiplication. It can be done, but especially without a calculator, I would recommend doing it another way. A typical rule when we're working with direct proportion is that we want to go down to another value to then scale up to the 30. So in this case, we could maybe go down to 10 biscuits. Because if we divide our 20 by 2, we get 10. And then we can multiply all that from 3 there. So to get from 20 to 10, we have divided by 2. So that means that all of these values, we're going to do the same. So for 10 biscuits, we're going to need 25 grams of flour, 1 egg, and 20 grams of butter. And then if we compare the 10 to the 30, we can see that we multiplied by 3. So we're going to do that to all three of them here. That's going to leave us with 75 grams of flour, 3 eggs, and 60 grams of butter. And that is our final answer there. So notice, always remember with these that you want to go down to something, whether it's 5 biscuits, 1 biscuit. But always make sure you go down to something, because then going back up is going to be a lot easier. Question 2. A slightly different way of solving this one. 16 books costs 80 pounds. So we can write out a little equation like this. And I personally always like doing equations like this because it makes it very easy to compare. So we want to work out how much nine books will cost. Again, it's quite difficult to go from 16 straight to nine. So again, we're going to go down to something first and then up to something after that. Typically with these, if it works, one book is going to be easiest. Again, you could go to two books or five books if it works out well, but in this case, one is going to be the best bet. Now, notice here, to get from 16 to 1, we divide by 16. And whatever we do to one side, we're going to have to do to the other. So 80 divided by 16. That means that one book, on average, is £5. Now, from there, it makes it much easier because to get from 1 to 9, all we have to do is multiply by 9. So 5 times 9 gives us £45, and that is our final answer. Often with questions like this, they will say, what assumption have you made in the question? And your assumption here will be that all the books have cost the same amount of money. Because obviously, just because 16 books cost £80 in real life, doesn't mean that every single book is going to cost £5. You might have some books that are £6 and some books that are £4. So that would be the assumption that you always make. And this will be very general throughout this topic. But thank you very much for watching, and I hope that helped.